Hi guys and welcome to a very special video. So basically, Ants Kingdom, remember I completely butchered their name in Dutch. Meren Bordegai. Yeah. Um, well, they very nicely sent me out harvester ants and a brand new nest. I believe it's called a gypsum nest, I think, and an arena where I can put the food in. And obviously they're in a test tube here. Just to say, if you can hear background noise, it's boiling hot right now, so I have to have the window open. Anyway, so I've already set this up. When I was opening it all up, taking it out of the box, thank you, car, I realized that the tubing obviously fits in, but it wasn't completely secure. And as soon as an ant can escape, it's no longer fun for me. I'm like, okay, get out. <laughs> like, I just hate it. So what I went and did is put sealant around each connection to the nest, to the arena, and where they all join up. There are two different ways you can join these up. It can just be straight in a line, or it can be three ways like this. I kind of preferred it like this, so that's what I did. And what I'm gonna probably try to do is, this one's gonna be more of like, a sterile, should we say, a sterile, is that the right word, set up so we have this kind of nest and this is going to be completely clear besides food and you have your test tube, whereas my other ants, the Lassius Nigers, they're going to probably have more of a natural setup and we'll see how they both do in different ways. The only adjustment I'm going to do here is just take off this lid. This lid just places on but it's very, like, it doesn't look like they could get through it at all as long as it's down. And I'm just going to take this little stick and put it in the test, um, in the little tube and make a little bridge on the way down so if they do want to what, why is everyone so loud today? if they do want to get in and out they can kind of easily that'll be enough yeah, my neighbours are so loud anyway, so that's probably the only thing I'm really going to add, just a little bridge now another thing this set came with is a syringe, a 5ml one, so we need to just add some water into the nest to keep it humid. I don't know if we add in a whole 5 milliliters, but I'm probably going to just to see, oh, oh it's out the top, I need some tissue. So as that all seeps in, this is what goes on top, just a nice little red bit. I guess this makes the light less harsh so the ants feel a bit more comfortable. It also came with some flies, although I think most of them are dead now. I did not look after them very well, but basically the harvester ants can eat them both dead and alive. And we've also got honey, dew and sugar water and seeds. So I've put in some food, it looks like a little fried egg, but that's some honey dew on a cotton pad. And I'm also going to just, just pop in a few, a few seeds as a harvester ants. Um, on the cotton pad too. Don't want to do too much because actually they're very, there's not that many members of the colony yet. But I figured I'll do that just to start them off, see what they like. Now everything is secure, I'm going to actually attach them to the tube. Now they come with this little box so you can keep them dark. And I don't know how well you're going to see this. There's the queen, We've got a few workers, she looks very really healthy. But I'm sure after her journey from the Netherlands, she's a little bit hungry. And talking about that, does anyone know like a really good Dutch name for her? Because, come on, she's from the Netherlands. So let me know in the comments section below and I'll probably announce it on Facebook or Instagram. So let's put her back in here so she's nice and dark. Take off the cotton. Hopefully that hasn't got anything on. Attach it like this. Okay. Let's just move everything back a bit so it all fits on well. And we're going to leave them now for today and then we'll come back a little bit later and see how they're doing. So it's been a few days and as you can see, they've pretty much collected most of the seeds that are in the outworld. Not all of them, there's the odd one or two, but they've collected a lot. And this is obviously where they get the name from. Now I was reading up about this and this might be more true for them that they just collect it and they use the fats from the seeds as food. But I don't know if this is the same for all harvester ants or just ones in Florida, but apparently they plant the seeds in soft soil, wait for them to germinate and then eat off the seedlings. I don't think that's the same for these ones, it might just be the ones in Florida, um, but it's pretty cool. Now what they're doing at the moment 
is in the daytime they all hide in this black area and at night they all come out again and I have to say the brood itself is actually very big and the ants the newly workers like they're fairly big compared to molasses nigers and they are far more active they have yet to move in here but I, I don't know if I said this before but I was advised to connect them to this as soon as possible so I'm just following instructions um, but yeah they've clearly been accessing the out world sort of thing here and then just taking it back to here so um, I'm sure there'll be lots to update on next month on these guys and there'll obviously be a Lassie's Niger video because I have built them a natural tank so that's to come so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any tips on looking after this species let me know in the comment section below but thanks for watching and goodbye